Welcome back to the shop, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm gonna to show you a stupid simple way to make box joints. If you follow me on social media, you have probably seen me make this box here. And I've done that several times, so I'm not gonna show you over and over again how to make the same box. If you wanna see me make an actual box, a couple videos ago, I did one on a rosewood box that used box joints, so you can check that video out but I did not go over the details on how to make box joints. And I'm gonna show you that today. Really simple, requires barely any measuring, and that's my kind of woodworking. I already cut my pieces to lengthen with, so I'm ready to go. And we're gonna do this entire thing right here at the table saw. I put a ripping blade in my saw. And the reason why I did is because the tooth is flat. That means whenever I go to cut these box joints, I'm gonna get a nice crisp flat cut instead of getting a V cut like a lot of saw blades will give you. So the first step is I need to set the blade to the thickness of my material. I'm gonna use my table saw sled to do this entire operation, but you could also use a miter gauge if you wanted to, just put a sacrificial fence on it and you're good to go. Now, if you notice, if you look at my blade, it's gonna be a lot lower than where the kerf is on my, on my sled. Take a look, see? So because of that, if I were to cut box joints using this with all this empty space that's right here on my sled, I'm gonna get a ton of tear out. Don't wanna have that. So I got this. This is a piece of scrap wood. It's got a million curves in it because I use it for things like this. I'm gonna take this, clamp it onto my fence. Now I instantly have a zero clearance fence so we can start making box joints. My box is gonna have two long sides and two short sides. The dimensions really don't matter too much. This is just so that you have a perspective of what I'm doing here. What I'm looking at doing is having uh, three fingers, basically. I'll have a finger on the top and the bottom of the long one with a cutout, and I'll have the mating piece on the short side, and then they'll fit together. And I don't really care and don't have to measure how much of a space there is. It really doesn't matter except for visually. What do you want? So my pieces are um, about two and three quarters inch wide-ish. So you, know, you just set your combination square to what looks good. The only thing I care about is I wanna make sure I have enough meat in those fingers so that I can carve a groove to hold the bottom of the box. Other than that, I don't care, as long as it looks good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my combination square, I don't know, close to an inch-ish, whatever. And I'm gonna mark it on the bottom, flip my combination square over, and mark it again. And with those two marks done, all I care about is cutting out between those two lines. That is it. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna take a stop block, I'm gonna clamp it onto my sled, and I'm gonna put it where the first line is and I'm gonna push it through and make a cut. And then I'm gonna move it over a little bit and make another cut. And I'm just gonna keep going until I get close to the other line. If it passes the line, it's not a big deal. If it doesn't pass the line, it's not a big deal. All you're doing is setting up the gap for you to make your next cuts.
These turned out great, nice and clean, no tear out. And if you notice while I was doing it, it made it a lot quicker by cutting than rotating. And then cut it, flip it over, cut it, rotate it, and just go through it that way instead of inching it all the way over. Just makes it a little bit quicker. So now it's time to make the mating pieces here so they all line up together. And to do that, again, we need to keep it really simple. I'm gonna put these two together, and where this opening is, I'm just gonna place a pencil mark on those, and I know that's the part I need to keep, I need to cut away the stuff on the sides. I set my stop block up, but I'm gonna be a little bit conservative. I didn't set it so that my blade's directly on my line. Instead, I got it where the line's a little bit off to the side. That way I can make cuts and the stop block's gonna ensure that I don't cut too far over in the middle. And I'll flip it over like last time and I'll do the same thing, make passes till I get further in, till I hit my stop block. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna test fit it. And if that center section, the center finger is still too big, I'll nudge over my stop block and I'll make another pass and flip it over and make another pass and then do it. And I'll just keep doing that until it fits perfectly for me. So there you have it, stupid simple box joints, really easy to make, it only took a few minutes on the table saw, so give it a shot in your shop. And make sure you subscribe to this channel, I got all kinds of tips like this. You're gonna wanna subscribe and hit the bell notification because I put out multiple videos a week and you wanna be up to date on the next video that comes out. Like this video and please share it with somebody who might enjoy this sort of content. Until we meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome.